Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Albert and welcome back to the channel. Today is October 15th and in this video I'm going to give an update on how my puts are doing. If you're new to the channel, I have been selling Tesla puts for the last three months or so and I'm documenting my progress as I attempt to make several thousand dollars each month. Alright, so here's a screenshot of my Fidelity account today on the puts I have out for Tesla. You'll see the October 15th put which expired today expired uh, worthless and I made about 2405 um, so I sold this put a while back for 2405 and I bought it back today for zero dollars essentially um, and if you don't know what selling puts means I have another video on that and I'll link that up here otherwise the new put I sold today was this uh, 785 put for October 22nd and the reason I did that was because I've learned that selling a weekly put was actually relatively profitable. So instead instead of selling the November 19th put for $3,000, I sold a weekly one for $1,000. And I was just kind of doing the math behind that. So what I've been doing for my strategy thus far is I've been selling uh, out of the money puts, which means the strike price is below the, the current price for about four to five weeks out. The further out you go, the more money you make, right? So I've been having one expire each week. Um, and the stock ran up today, this morning. And then, you know, I had to go relatively high to go to the, uh, to make $3,000 from that strike price. So I ended up just selling it weekly because actually I would technically make more money because if this is, let's say it's four weeks out, I only make $3,000. If I sold one every week, I can make a thousand. Then technically over that time period, I'm making more money. So Something new I'm trying, not sure how it'll go, but I'm fairly certain that uh, with earnings coming out next week, I don't think the stock price will drop below 75. I am quite positive, quite positive about that. One thing that I am slightly concerned about is because the stock price ran up a lot today, um, the, the faster this, the stock runs up, you know, the faster it'll, it'll decline, and that's not great if you're selling puts. So that's something I'm, I'm slightly concerned about. Um, so I have that in mind. And uh, what my strategy is, is the cash I'm making from selling these puts, I'm going to hold it as cash in margin, and I'm going to use that to be able to sell more puts. So the strategy I was thinking about last week was, it's roughly about $25,000, $26,000 in margin uh, you need to hold in order to sell another put. With my old strategy, I was selling each put for about $3,000, right? So... That means in a month I can make about twelve thousand, in two months I make twenty-five thousand or so. That means every two months I can sell additional put to make an extra three thousand. Do that for a year. That's gonna you know grow and grow. So I think you know best case scenario I could be making a lot more, maybe double what I'm making now in, a sh in maybe about seven or eight months. Um, another thing I'm thinking about, like I just mentioned, switching from monthly to weekly. So here is the uh, a screenshot of. The puts that I, I took a screenshot after hours, so these aren't the, the these aren't the dollar amounts that I so, I sold for. But if you take a look at you know the 820 put for next Friday, you can make uh fourteen hundred dollars or so. That's fourteen times a hundred, right? Forty hundred dollars in seven days. Whereas if you were going to sell a November 19th put, you would make about twenty nine hundred dollars in about thirty five days. If you divide it, it divided it by the number of days, you're technically making two hundred dollars a day here, and you're making eighty one dollars per day here. If you multiply that day by thirty, then you're making about roughly six thousand dollars a month versus twenty four hundred thirty dollars a month for the same amount of either money you're holding to secure these puts or or equity, right? So it does seem like this is a lot more lucrative. So that's why I'm going to try it out for a little bit, and I don't know if it's because. Uh, because the stock's been running up and now everyone's a lot more positive on Tesla, these longer term perks are getting priced a lot lower. So I think that's what's happening. Not quite sure, but there's a new strategy I'm gonna try out and that might boost my earnings per day by quite a bit. Uh, here's a summary of what's been going on since I started. And I'm not quite sure the best way to present this information. So I kind of just made up my own little, little charts and graphs here. This blue line represents the amount of dollars in what I've sold. So these are puts I've sold. And this orange line represents the amount of dollars that I've profited from. That doesn't include the, that doesn't include like, you know, see all this money that I made here, like this, this total gain. That doesn't include this. It only covers what I've actually, you know, closed out. 
So I started this in July and to date, actual dollars I made about 24, 23,000. Uh, it's a little bit more than that. And you can see here the potential profit is another 14,000. So if everything closes above, let's say 785 or really 745, then that's what, this will be what I'm at is basically the 23 plus the 14. So I think I'm averaging, I think I'm gonna be able to average around $12,000 per month moving forward. Uh, and then that's only going to grow as I get more cash to secure the mart, secure uh, cash to secure the puts. Then I'll be able to sell more and and kind of just uh, go a little bit heavier on this on this strategy. All right, and um, yeah. So my goal really is just to track what I'm doing. I have no idea whether or not this is going to make money or not, but I feel like it will. So I'm willing to kind of put these bets out there before they before they actually you know come to fruition and then later on we'll be able to track how i did so last video i made a uh a, a video on covered calls so i sold a neo cover call and i'll just give you guys an update on that it isn't going great so i had sold two calls one i made about 200 bucks uh and this one i made about 300 bucks 291 to be exact and so i made about 500 dollars selling covered calls on neo neo actually just ran up a lot today well, not a lot, but 4% today. So we're definitely over, we're about $2 over uh, what I promised to sell it at. So I promised to sell it at $36. So my downside is, my upside is about, if I, this you know this expo, if this gets covered, I'll make about $500. Uh, and I'm missing out, right now I'm missing out about $513. If Neo continues to run up, then I'll be missing out even more. Uh, but you know what? Not a big deal. I was I was planning on getting rid of it anyways. I'm just happy that I can get rid of it while breaking even, uh, versus before I was down, you know, like eight, seven, or eight percent. So, yeah. Either way, uh, it's not that bad. Like I said in my last video, uh, which I'll link here if I if I figure out how. Um, in the when you do the wheel strategy, you can only make money. You can't lose money, but you just miss out on the upside. Uh, other things that happened in the last week is I sold my Netflix stocks for Tesla stocks, and then I also sold today I sold my SoFi stocks for Tesla stocks. So like I said, I am trying to consolidate all my stocks of random things I own into Tesla. When this Neo call gets covered, or gets uh, when I get assigned these this call and I have to buy the stocks, well I have to sell the stocks. I'm also going to take that money and put it in Tesla. All right, hope this helps. Talk, thank you. Talk to you guys soon.